This video is brought to you by MIDIWorks.ca, where we specialize in virtual pipe organ hardware. If you'd like to be updated about future tutorials, products, or announcements, we invite you to subscribe to our channel. Hello everyone. Today, we'll be going over how to connect a single keyboard to Hopwork. We'll explain the two methods of connecting a keyboard to your computer, as well as configuring Hopwork to recognize it. Now let's get started. Today, we'll be using one of our MIDIWorks products, a classic MIDI keyboard. This specific keyboard has both USB and MIDI capabilities, making it ideal for this video. Now, there are two methods of connecting a keyboard to a computer. One is through a USB connection directly from the keyboard, and the other is through the use of a MIDI interface. Let's go over the USB method first. If your keyboard has a USB port, all you need to do is connect the USB cable from your keyboard to your computer like so. Now depending on the keyboard you have, you might also need to install a driver in order for the computer to recognize it. I suggest going over the keyboard's manual if you are unsure if a driver is needed. In this example, we don't need to install a driver. Our keyboard is conveniently a plug and play device. I suggest that if it's the first time you are connecting the keyboard to your computer, that you make sure your computer is turned on first. That way, there's less of a chance you run into installation issues. Now, let's take a look at the second method. If your MIDI keyboard does not have a USB port, then you'll need to use this method. First, you'll need to get your hands on a MIDI interface. What a MIDI interface does, to put it simply, is take the MIDI sent from the keyboard through a MIDI cable and transfer it to your computer using a USB or FireWire connection. Now most audio interfaces also have a MIDI feature included, but today we'll be using a standalone MIDI interface only, just to keep things simple. Using the MIDI cable, we'll need to connect the MIDI out from our keyboard into the MIDI in of the interface. Then we connect the USB cable from the interface to the computer. Once again, if this is your first time connecting the interface to your computer, make sure your computer is turned on first. Now that you've successfully connected the keyboard to the computer, we will need to configure Hopwork to use it. Once you have Hopwork turned on, go to the top menu and click on General Settings, then MIDI Ports. A box will pop up with a list of MIDI connections that Hopwork has recognized. You can ignore the default Hopwork VST link. As you can see here, I have two other MIDI connections displayed. These are the two that I have just shown you. Now these connections will usually have the name of the keyboard or interface as the label. If you connect the keyboard via USB, the keyboard's name or brand will show up instead. If you connected the keyboard through a MIDI interface, then the interface name or brand will be displayed. So now, let's check off the connection that we want to use with Hopwork in the console MIDI in category. Since we currently have the MIDI interface connected, we'll select that. Once we do, we press OK. Now let's check to make sure the MIDI messages sent by the keyboard is being read by Hopwork. Look at the bottom right of the window. You'll see four circles labeled MIDI. Try playing some notes. You should see a green light turn on when you press them. If so, congratulations! This means that Hopwork recognizes the messages sent by your keyboard. At this point, we are ready to proceed with the next video. If you don't have any other MIDI connections showing aside from the default, it means Hopwork hasn't recognized a connection between keyboard and computer. I would suggest reconnecting them both after you restart the computer, or try reinstalling the driver. From experience, that usually fixes it. Now, if you're using an interface and have it checked off, but do not see a green light showing at the bottom when you press notes, see if you have the MIDI cables properly plugged into the keyboard. The labels on the MIDI cables can get confusing and you might have the wrong cable plugged in or plugged into the wrong MIDI port. Again, make sure you connect the MIDI out port on your keyboard to the correct MIDI cable on the interface. If connected properly, the green light should start showing when you start pressing notes. And that's it for this tutorial. On the next video, we'll go over how to use the auto-detect feature to link a virtual manual on a sample set to a physical keyboard.